morning guys. Welcome to the video. I only keep this brief because one, I think the heavens are about to open so I might get extremely wet. And two, it's not very good for the lungs. Got out on my 5K run every Wednesday morning and either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I get my robot work done a little bit of conditioning and soak up some fresh air first thing but the weather does not look too great today unfortunately but nevertheless we're getting it done Woo! we're on the uh, home straight and it starts to get very hilly so I'm gonna do myself a favor put the camera down and I'll pick up when I get back home. We are back in business. I've showered, cooled down a little bit, not a lot, but I'm in a bit of a rush. It's currently half past eight uh, and I've stupidly booked a haircut for half past nine, which is why the hair is looking horrendous at the moment, but I need to quickly get some food, some post run nutrition as I've got a leg session probably in like three, four hours time. So I'm gonna get some food in me to help replenish and recover. So all I'm gonna go for is five whole eggs. This is completely thrown together as I don't have a lot of time. Five whole eggs um, with some cheese, the fat in an omelet. And then I'm gonna stick it all in a wrap. I'm not too sure what you can call that, a romlet maybe, a wrap omelet, but yeah, like I said, unfortunately I don't have a lot of time, so I need to just get some carbs, fats, and proteins in me. So let's quickly whip this up. <clears throat> right, I completely lied about what I was gonna eat for breakfast because we have got scrambled egg, in the wrap, that's still correct. Not having the cheese, not having an omelet. Um, and I've got two whole eggs with three egg, wh egg whites with a little splash of ketchup. Yes, it does look horrendous, but I'm in a rush, so it'll do for now. Also, the reason I didn't have the five whole eggs and the cheese, the extra calories, is because I'm back in a deficit um, just for the next week, I know I have, I think like two videos ago, I said about my cutting diet, uh, which I did before we went to Italy. Um, but I actually cut that, cut that cut short because I knew I was going to be eating a lot of food, drinking some alcohol, some wine. So I thought, what is the point? I might as well wait till I get back from that holiday and then clean the physique up. Uh, and kind of reset, get back to where I want to be to start building on my physique. So it didn't make sense to uh, carry on that cut. I think I did it for like four days. I cleaned up a little bit, but it was pretty pointless because as soon as we got to Italy, I just consumed food constantly. I think I had pizza like every single day. But yeah, I need to stop talking and consume this. 406 calories, the macros are decent. 30 grams of protein, 38 grams of carbs, and 14 fat. And to be fair, it doesn't actually taste too bad at all. You've just got to eat whatever gives you the most nutritional value. I want to get the rest of this leaking Romlet down me. Uh, it's currently quarter to nine. Now I need to get out the door, get this hair sorted as it doesn't look the best at the moment. So I'll pick up in a sec. Fresh haircut first thing in the morning. I'm feeling like a new man. Unfortunately, the weather is absolutely pants today. Miserable grey skies and raining. But it is not going to kill my vibe. 
apologies for the quick start to this video as well. Obviously, I got my morning 5K conditioning piece done, had some food, and then had to quickly pop out, get my hair cut. Uh, the time is now 10 to 11. You co op on the way back through uh, and picked up a protein shake which has a decent amount of carbs in. This is going to essentially fuel today's leg session. Obviously, it's quick, fast, absorbing. I may have a bagel. Hannah is on a Zoom like meeting thing inside, so I've just had to stall and wait till she's finished. It's kind of like a meal replacement, this, but they are so tasty. For goodness shake. While I'm quickly waiting and sipping on this, I just want to quickly elaborate on the reason why I'm going back into this deficit, as obviously I was in a rush this morning. Uh, the main reason is I want to get my body composition, as in like my body fat percentage, back to where I feel comf uh, comfortable, where I feel like I look good. I tend to train better, like my sessions are better when I'm leaner compared to where when I'm in a surplus and I've got a huge influx of calories. Maybe my body just utilizes the uh, calories, macronutrients that I'm putting into my system a bit better. Obviously everyone is different. They have their own opinion on how they want to look. If you're someone that competes in either like bodybuilding, physique shows, or wait, I was gonna say weightlifting, powerlifting comps, then you have your like off season where you're in a calorie surplus. And then you have your obviously competitive season where you probably diet down. Uh, and get lean for shows. But as I'm doing neither of those things, I prefer to stay lean throughout the year. I've mentioned this before, stay lean throughout the year. And then when it comes to summer, take it to another notch and get shredded. Uh, do you, if you wanna bulk up, especially if you're like starting out in the gym, first few years, just eat, consume food, grow, put on muscle mass. Obviously like I'm 26 now, I've trained for 10 plus years naturally i'm not going to be able to get much bigger obviously i'm still going to grow but compared to those first five years where i put on muscle mass pretty easily and it was like noticeable whereas now like unless i'm lean people don't really know how big i am or how big i'm getting if that makes sense yeah i'm just doing me i want to stay lean who doesn't want to stay shredded also content for like social media um, it's always better when you're leaner. That's just the, the harsh reality. If you're someone that is obviously bulking, not in shape, you're probably not gonna get as noticed as much as if you were lean, um, as sad as that is. Anyway, let's head home, see if Hannah has finished on her Zoom call. Then I can get changed, we can head to the gym and smash some legs. Leg day is my favorite day, I think. I've decided. Unfortunately, my hand has been forced. Hannah is still on her, uh, her Zoom call. Got there in the end. So I've had to leave the house as I literally couldn't get into the lounge. Today's pre, we have got the Ultra Fiesta Mango. I would say top two monsters for me absolutely banging very good in the summer as it's fruity <sighs> yeah so good legs are still a little bit tired from this morning's run but usually i'd have like a bigger meal in between a little bit longer to rest but we don't have a choice so i'm gonna get it done no complaining get this banana down me and Apple. Today's leg day fuel. Calories for today, as I haven't actually mentioned it yet, are 2,600, which for me is around a 700 calorie deficit, which is quite extreme. But obviously, because I'm doing it for such a short period of time, I'm able to be in a deeper deficit without affecting uh, muscle atrophy or like mood energy levels going down. Uh, I should be fine for the next week or so in that sort of calorie deficit. Obviously, if you're doing it for month, two month, then 400 to 500 calories is a great start. Micronutrients, uh, always keeping my protein intake high 
uh, higher when I'm in a calorie deficit. So 210 to 220 grams of protein a day. Carbs and fats, however, will fluctuate. One day I'll have more fat, one day I'll have more carb. Uh, as long as I'm hitting my calories, time to hit up today's leg session. I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. I go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels yeah. on. Why you acting different when the camera's Why on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city giddy, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move my family way out. Ah. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my rain when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on, I'm buying planes. Money in the carry on, I'm buying What an absolute banger of a session I just had then. Literally the best session I've had in months. Maybe it's the, uh, the fresh haircut, the fresh fade, but really good session my training recently has actually been really good enjoying it like before i went away to italy um i kind of lost my gym mojo a bit i still go in some sessions were good some were terrible but i think the time off from the gym going away on holiday resetting helped massively get my post-workout shake a new one today uh, i still have no protein at home so i had to buy one from the vending machine we have got an optimum nutrition uh, the macros on this one are very good. 305 calories, 21 carb, 2 fat, 50 protein. I'm going to be huge. My nutritional intake today has been a little bit soppy. I haven't had much in terms of like solid foods, but that is fine. I've been busy. I've had to make do and make sure I am getting a higher amount of protein in today. Um, hopefully... By the time I get back, Hannah would have finished her phone call as that was a very long session. Um, and then I can get some actual food and not liquid. Let's get back to the casa. Lunchtime. I've just been and bought some sliced roast beef topside. I just want something quick and easy for lunch as I need to start cracking on with some work on my laptop. 100 grams is in this packet and it has 30 grams of protein. And literally, just in that, what an absolute dream. Low-ish in fat, 3.6 grams of fat, just full of protein, and I'm gonna have a sesame seed bagel. So I'm gonna put it in the bagel with some hummus, uh, and maybe a little bit of salad and Perry mayo, maybe Perry mayo. I'll see if we've got any space to fit some uh, Perry mayo, just to give it a little bit of flavor, but this all already has uh, Nando's Perry sauce. You need to try this. Get some pitters, buy a tub of hummus, and then put some medium Nando's Perry sauce in it. Game changer. So yeah, that's gonna be lunch, super simple. Uh, I don't really need anything high in volume, like salad or anything like that, because it's the start of the cut. Because I am in a deficit for such a short period of time, um, I won't be in that phase where I need high volume foods to keep me full throughout the day, if that makes sense. So this will be fine. I'm not like particularly hungry because that session was pretty brutal, but I know I need to get some carbs, fats and proteins in to help repair and rebuild so that that will do for lunch and we also have a biggish tea tonight so i want to save some calories for uh, tonight's dinner as it is my favorite meal not my favorite but one of my favorite meals come and say hello to the subscribers hey 
He is the most unaffectionate, strange cat ever, aren't you? No, it's not that he's unaffectionate. He doesn't like being touched unless he wants to be, which is when he wants feeding. He is the neediest cat ever. Apart from that, if you touch his stomach, you will get smacked in the face. He's not too bad with me, are you? This is, uh, this is the hold. You don't mind that, do you? Your brother, on the other hand, is the clingiest cat in the world. Lunch out. Always have to slightly toast your bagel. Tiny bit of piri mayo. Tiny bit. That'll do. To be honest, I probably won't even track it. YOLO and all that. Looks pretty pathetic. Ah, it doesn't look too bad to be fair. Let's give it a quick taste. You definitely do not need a big salad with this meal. That beef is so dry and hard to eat, it's gonna be filling. I am trying to persuade Hannah to let me get rid of this one, the sofa bed, because we literally never use it. It probably gets used once or twice a year. If that, get rid of it, as it basically gets used as Tracy Beaker's dumping ground. We just chuck, like I chuck my gym bag and stuff on it when I get back from work. So the idea is to get rid of that and hopefully, and hopefully put a desk here for me to work because currently my setup for editing and like my PlayStation and stuff is in my wardrobe, if you didn't know. I sit here, sometimes do some editing here. If not, it'll be like downstairs or on the sofa. And it can be a bit annoying because my knees hit that because I have quite long legs. Um, but yeah, it worked for a little bit. I'm trying to like free up some space around the house because we don't have, we only have a two bed, so there's not a lot of space. So I tried to utilize that as my, uh, desk space for editing and work and stuff like that but I have outgrown that I need somewhere to work we will see if we can turn this into my working from home setup I feel like it'll be an absolute game changer for this channel and stuff like that Dinner is served. We have got Hannah's, well not Hannah's, but Nigella Lawson's. Nigella Lawson's. <laughs> when we lived with Hannah's parents, Hannah's mum cooked this at least once a week and it was my favorite meal. So we have it at least once a week, at least once a week here. Um, Hannah cooks up like a massive batch and we have it for probably like two, um, two full meals, chorizo, chili con carne. Chorizo in a chili. Does it get any better? Obviously I have weighed everything out. We've got 300 grams of basmati rice uh, and then we've got two and a half servings of the homemade chorizo chili which comes to 900 calories. Now this is the reason uh, I had smaller meals throughout the day and put back calories. I knew I was going to be having a big meal this evening. I made sure I had the calories for it. It's not good. No, it's just tiny. Like normally. No, honestly, because it was like ripe. It just obviously didn't make it much. Can't win. Anyway, this is the one meal a week that I look forward to the most. I would say. Apart from a curry, I would say this is the second best option. Just uh, Mexican food in general is 
So tasty, so good. Yeah. The usual tea time tradition, we always uh, eat in the lounge. But at the moment, we are absolutely rinsing and repeating The Office. Netflix. Which if you haven't watched The Office, I hate you. Avocado is right. Perfect. That was incredible. That is why you put your calories back during the day, because then you can enjoy a nice big tea. Well, this evening is way better than this morning. Hey boy. Hey. Wake me up. We have hit our calorie target for the day. Um, 2,531 calories. Um, I did have like some sauce and stuff which I didn't actually put into my fitness pal, so that will probably top me up to 2,600. Protein, 208, carbs, 308, and fat, 56. So lower on the fat today than usual, but like I said, as long as I'm hitting my calories, fats and carbs can go either way. And I'm about to drink this and get my gym bag ready for the morning. I'm off to the gym at five o'clock in the morning. I do that three times a week because of work. Unfortunately, that's just how it is and I have to get it done early. So I'm gonna make sure all my stuff is out and ready. I uh, highly recommend making sure you get your gym kit ready for the morning. Otherwise the chances are you'll wake up, realize you've got nothing ready and then hit that snooze button and stay in bed. I'm going to wrap this video up because once I've done this, me and Hannah are going to chill out and watch an episode on Netflix of that Jeremy Dahmer, the serial killer. I know, great way to end your day, but we're getting into that one. Not getting into it, but you know what I mean. Two videos a week, that is the plan, the new goal. Recording on Wednesdays and Saturday or Sunday, or both sometimes. Uh, so make sure you are subscribed. If you enjoyed the video, but please leave it a thumbs up. It helps massively to grow the channel, exposure and all that jazz. See you in the next one.